Uh, let's get four lines set. One line there on the wing, one line there on the wing. Two lines up here at the top. I need two balls in each of the lines on the top, please. In this drill, color doesn't matter. It's jersey color. So please distribute the lines evenly. Four lines evenly distributed, please. So line there, line there, line there, line there. Okay. So when we're just talking about positions, when you're teaching this and calling it, use the, I, I'm not, I'm not going to try to buck John R. Wooden. He called these two guys guards. So I grew up just south of Martinsville, Indiana, where he was born and raised. So I'm going to call them guards. That's what Coach Wooden called them. Who the hell am I to argue with him? He called them guards. These two would have been forwards. This guy would have been the center. Now, that doesn't define who you are as a player. It's simply the floor position. So who's your center on here? Who's our center? Okay. So right now, he's in the line that we said was what position? Guard. Guard, yeah. Okay. So if he, if he enters the ball to the wing and initiates the offense, what position are you playing? You playing point guard or you playing center? If you enter the ball and initiate the offense, you'd be the point guard, right? Now what center on your team did you say, hey, I'm going to let you run point today? That'd be like, hell yeah, let's do this. So being able to get these guys to play all different positions empowers them, gives them confidence. So this is your center, Coach Ponder, and thank you for letting us use these guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But, and if you guys don't know, Oglethorpe had an unbelievable year last year, 11-3, and in one of the better Division Three conferences in the country. So if you're here in town and you haven't come to watch him play, shame on you. Get out and watch him play. This is the guard line. This is the forward line, okay? This would be the center in our four positions. So one drill we'll do every day to start is we're going to do wing catch. I'll just call it four lines. Let's move this line down a little bit farther because you're going to L cut and get open. Okay? These two lines, you're going to stay on this same side of the floor. These two lines, you're going to stay on this side of the floor because we're only going to do it for three minutes. So in the run of it, we'd only do it three minutes. We're going to pivot a lot. One thing that's really important is our pivots. So we're going to reverse pivot on every catch, guys. So we're going to L cut. We want to make this catch free throw line extended and I'm gonna reverse pivot. 10 toes to the basket, I'm driving it, and I can only score off of a two-stop, jump-stop, power move. Get it out of the net, I'm coming straight up the center of the floor so I don't get in their way. After you pass it, you're going into that line, okay? You wanna be free throw line extending, your spacing's important. Now, should you both drive at the same time? No, because what's gonna happen? Collision and Coach Ponder is going to be very upset with me if one of you guys gets hurt, okay? So you're alternating and timing it. Okay, we ready? You're first. L cut, reverse pivot, drive it. L cut, let's go. Reverse pivot. Good. Good. Everything, two foot power move. Catch it, reverse pivot. Good. Good, and freeze. 